They say the court's decision to halt evictions violates the Constitution. Now, two Detroit landlords are taking the chief judge to court to prove it. Good evening. The current ban on evictions lasts until October 3rd. But now two landlords are suing, saying it's equivalent to the court taking private property. Grant Herms joins us to break down these legal challenges, which were bound to happen. Grant. Jason Karen, they certainly were bound to happen. Even the president said he wasn't sure that this moratorium would hold up in court. Well, these two landlords are putting it to the test. They say it violates their constitutional rights. Inside the new filings, one of Michigan's first challenges to President Biden's extension of the eviction moratorium. According to the lawsuit, landlords JPA Holdings and Sandeep Gosal are suing the 36th District Court and its chief judge, William McConico, for upholding the moratorium, which expires October 3rd, calling the ruling government authorized invasion, occupation, and appropriation of the property owner's property contrary to their constitutional rights, saying they want, quote, just compensation for the deprivation of their property rights. Both landlords say they started eviction proceedings at separate houses in Detroit more than a year ago, but pandemic eviction prevention orders stopped them from evicting their tenants. Then, when the order expired last month, the eviction process started again, only to be stopped again. The lawsuit comes just a few days after the leaders of Michigan's legislature called on Attorney General Dana Nessel to sue the Biden administration as the state is struggling to get hundreds of millions of dollars to renters and landlords. Local 4 did reach out to both the chief judge and attorneys for the landlords, but did not get a response back. Now, this isn't the first case in the country to test this new moratorium. Just a few days ago, a federal judge in Washington, D.C. upheld the eviction ban, which could be an indication on how this case is going to go. Back to you. Yeah, Grant Herbs reporting live for us tonight. Grant, thanks.